Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Several companies in the aerospace industry have managed to reach new markets, thanks to the development of devices such as drones and other unmanned aircraft. The potential of this technology has been seen by companies like Kawasaki, which see drones as a delivery tool. To achieve this, the company started its K-Racer project, which consists of a VTOL aircraft similar to a helicopter to solve logistics problems and ease of use during cargo delivery. With this aircraft, Kawasaki also aims to address social issues such as labor shortages caused by declining birth rates and the aging population. Thanks to the experience accumulated in developing helicopters and small high-power engines for motorcycles, Kawasaki created the first K-Racer X1 prototype, which had its first airlift test in 2020. Here, they were able to check the theoretical capabilities of the aircraft, which was capable of carrying up to 220 pounds using a Ninja H2R supercharged engine. More tests were carried out to check the performance of the prototype under conditions closer to reality. This resulted in implementing the proof of concept tests where Kawasaki simulated a continuous sequence of delivery operations in which a delivery robot was loaded with cargo and automatically boarded the unmanned aircraft. This was followed by an automated flight with the delivery robot on board, ending with the K-Racer landing and releasing the automated robot to deliver the cargo to the final destination. By performing these low-altitude flights, we will demonstrate the potential of this vehicle to potential Kawasaki customers and drive further development in this system. This is how the improvement of the X-1 began, focused on increasing the load capacity and the ability to operate in mountainous regions with less oxygen. This led to the development of the K-Racer X-2, capable of carrying up to 440 pounds and with the ability to operate it up to 10,000 feet. This was demonstrated at the Fukushima Robot Test Field's Nami Runway in early 2024 when the new prototype was taken over mountainous regions to prove that its gasoline engine was operational and provided sufficient lift at higher altitudes. Thus, these tests opened the doors for developing an automated freight transportation service capable of entering isolated regions. The expansion of this industry has driven innovation and the emergence of new air transportation solutions with numerous designs and technologies. Companies like Arc Aerosystems have focused on exploring different aircraft to provide affordable, accessible, and sustainable civil air transport. This includes the prototype E-Starling Hybrid Electric VTOL aircraft designed for both personal and commercial use. Arc Aerosystems, formerly known as Samad Aerospace, designed this aircraft for intercity transport, using a hybrid propulsion system to have an extended range and flexibility. By conducting multiple tests with the aircraft, the company can explore its maximum potential by using a semi-combined wing and propulsion system that will allow them to meet their long-term objectives. This mission started about 25 years ago, when I started to write up my 25 years plan ahead of my life. One of the things that I plan in my life to create a winning team that can design and build 
the best-in-class aircraft in the world. ARC Aerosystems has ventured with new developments, such as the VTOL Heavy Lift Cargo C600, The C-600 represents a significant innovation in the field of air cargo and logistics, with its design focusing on eco-friendly solutions for various applications. Like the E-Starling, the C-600 is propelled by a hybrid electric system that extends its range up to 400 miles and allows flight times of more than six hours. The development of such aircraft has advanced significantly, considering it successfully completed a tethered flight test. During this procedure, cables secured the aircraft to the ground to ensure safety while evaluating its VTOL capabilities, stability, and control systems under various conditions. After these tests, the development of the aircraft continued until a full transition test was carried out. Here, the focus is to evaluate the aircraft's ability to shift from using its vertical lift propellers, which enable it to take off and hover, to engaging its forward thrust propeller for horizontal flight. During this phase, several instruments study the stability of the aircraft as well as the adjustments made by the control systems to maintain that stability. The flexibility offered by VTOL aircraft has allowed them to adapt to civil aviation markets, as happened with the Italian company Leonardo and its AW609. developed especially for VIP clients and offshore oil and gas operators. With its development originating from the 90s with the company Bell and Augusta, its acquisition by Leonardo in 2011 allowed its technological advancement significantly by adding new and better control and aerodynamic systems. The various performance tests carried out for the AW609 allowed the company to demonstrate the aircraft's capabilities. Those tests included verifying the structural integrity of its airframe under several load conditions, as well as the system integration of all of the electronic devices connected to the aircraft. Although aircraft like the AW609 have more traditional designs, some companies have tried solutions outside the box to improve urban mobility and implement a new type of transportation. This is the case of the Lilium jet prototype developed by the company of the same name in order to create a faster travel system alternative to improve mobility in urban and extra-urban areas. This jet is distinguished by its unique propulsion system, which sets it apart from other EVTOLs primarily powered by propellers. Instead, the Lilium jet employs a proprietary technology known as ducted electric vectored thrust, which utilizes jet propulsion. Flight test mode, flight test mode active. This works thanks to its 36 electrical ducts, each containing fans and electric motors that provide thrust. Continue yeah. descending. Clear, minimum 15. Check. The goal of today's flight test is to achieve a top speed of 250 km per hour, which is faster than a wonder of nature called the Harris Hawk. Lilium is assembling the first two Lilium jets at its production facility near Munich, Germany.
these aircraft are critical for the company's ongoing certification and testing programs. Such production is in the advanced stages of assembly with components such as the fuselage, landing gear, wing, canard, and electric harnesses being integrated. This goes according to Lilium's schedule, which expects to perform its first manned flight in early 2025. Joining the certification flight test campaign in 2025, and contributing to the rigorous testing required for regulatory approval. Despite the rearranged timeline for the first flight, Lilium has confirmed that customer deliveries are on track for 2026. Other companies have ventured with unique designs of their VTOL aircraft to function as a solution to urban mobility. The Midnight, developed by Archer, has a particular design that includes 12 electric propellers, six tilting propellers, each with five blades for forward and vertical flight, and six fixed propellers dedicated solely to VTOL operations. This design is driven by Archer's mission to alleviate traffic congestion and reduce urban travel times with a zero emission transportation model. Their facility in San Jose, California plays a crucial role in the research, development, and final assembly of their aircraft components. Here, the company builds the battery packs with an automated pilot line that can produce about four battery packs per day. Archer adapts cutting-edge technologies from the automotive industry, such as six-axis robots and advanced welding systems. In the engine lab, Archer focuses on R&D for powertrain components, such as inverters and rotor assemblies. The final assembly process involves integrating various components, such as wiring harnesses, avionics, and fuselage parts. Archer collaborates with the FAA to perform different tests to certify its aircraft for use in commercial operations. This includes downwash testing to gather detailed data on midnight's downwash and outwash footprint helping the FAA evaluate the safety and suitability of the midnight aircraft for operating at existing helipads. Other performance tests include the transition flight test, which is a key piece during the development of VTOL aircraft. Knowing that midnight weighs approximately 6,500 pounds, it's considered one of the largest EVTOL aircraft for completing a transition flight. Once the tests were completed and the necessary certifications were achieved, Archer secured a $110 million contract with the U.S. Air Force's AFWORKS program, making it the first EVTOL aircraft expected to be delivered to the Department of Defense. This is a significant accomplishment for the Archer team, but also is really an opportunity for the U.S. Armed Forces to see the benefits of electric aircraft. The experience accumulated in the industry means that more companies venture into this air transport model, as is the case with Jody Aviation, which recently expanded its flight test program by including a pilot on board their EVTOL aircraft. Those tests were a key step for the company to achieve its commercial operations goal of launching an electric air taxi. The aeronautical industry's growth, especially that focused on VTOL technology, demonstrates these aircraft's great potential. After seeing its versatility during several tests, it generated the viability of being implemented as an urban transportation alternative. 
With these companies' momentum, it's no surprise that we are on the brink of a transportation revolution. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.